Lorraine, when you look at Macy's, uh, the move we saw in the stock today on the heels of those earnings, is this a company-specific story or is there a read-through to the rest of retail here? You know, I think it's a little bit of both. Jeff Gannett, the CEO, got on the call this morning and said the U.S. consumer has no appetite for price increases. That was the shot heard across retail today. Uh, remember, a lot of the tariffs that have not been delayed are on apparel. So just in time for Christmas, we'll be getting some cost increases for the retailers. Now, Macy's talked about that as a risk. Um, they didn't quantify it in their guidance yet, and that's why we see continued downside risk to both their second half guidance and also to the stock. But, but is that, that, that accounts for 13% decline in, in the stock, or are there other Macy-specific factors that we learn about today? I mean, they missed pretty badly. They lowered their guidance for the year by 20 cents, and they had a gross margin issue in the second quarter. So if you look at what's going to happen in the back half, we see problems mounting, not getting better. And I think that's what's causing the, the decline in the stock. And of course, Lorraine, when you, when you look across the retail sector, I mean, there's, there's, different, there's different pockets, right? Not everything. I mean, Macy's specifically department stores, we've been talking about some of the big headwinds that that part mm -hmm. of the industry has been facing. What do you like when you look at retail right now and why? Sure. So we're still recommending the off-price retailers like Burlington, TJ Maxx, Ross Stores. Reason for that is their market share gainers, and we think that that continues. We think the U.S. consumer is becoming more and more value-oriented, but they still want brands. So if you want brands that have value, this is where you go. When you think about something like tariffs hitting the consumer um, very quickly, we think that the, not only will the consumer be looking for more value, but disruption in the supply chain and in the, in the industry has generally been very positive for the off-price retailers. So we think fundamentals there will continue to be very strong. Where does Walmart uh, stand in your rankings? Uh, Walmart's covered by one of my colleagues who covers it more from the grocery standpoint. Um, but our focus is more on the department stores, which we think are secular losers, and the off-price retailers, which we think are secular winners. Okay. Uh, Lorraine, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, Lorraine Hutchinson there with an underperform rating on Macy's uh, following that uh, earnings report this morning and about 13% decline in the share price.